Hello, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to review. It's called plant. It is plant based. It's filled and farmer or filled plus farmer, red pepper spicy dip. Big, big bold flavor from small farms. So if you're new to my channel, I do unboxing and food reviews. And so um, they had other flavors. I think they had like a sour cream onion chive, all different kinds. But anyway, I'm going to be eating with this. And if you want to see the review on these chips, I'll leave a link below the video. And I review quite a bit of chips, so uh, you might want to check them out because I kind of tell you which is my favorite chips. Um, so anyway, uh, it's from the farm in Michigan. And it's pretty simple ingredients. It's Calanoni, can't even pronounce that, can can cannellini beans. Carrots, red peppers, garlic, lemon juice. I have no idea what that is. Red pepper flakes, extra virgin olive oil, salt, salt, citric acid, cumin, and coriander. And it's distributed from Illinois. It's not free plant-based, no preservatives. I got it sprouts. It's a little bit on the expensive side. Like I'm finding out sprouts is not, their prices are kind of high, I think. And it was in Austin, Texas. And so, um, my roommate already opened it and grabbed a little bit, but he had, he didn't tell me anything, because I, I was like, don't tell me, because I want to, like, review it myself. So, anyway. It definitely smells like roasted red pepper dip, like, really strong. Like, really strong. Who's not walking? All right. Yeah, the, the, it's really strong. Wow, it's like punch you in your face. I'm thinking I should have got like the vegan cheese dip, you know. But anyway, let's try it. Well, I'm not crazy about it. It doesn't have a bad taste in any way, okay? But if you're looking for like a vegan alternative, you could probably make this yourself with just some, you know, a can of beans and some also red bell peppers. There's really nothing unique about this. Um, it literally just tastes like like someone just took roasted red bell peppers and that's it. Not that that's a bad thing, but that's all I'm getting. I don't even get like a beanie taste. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. But you know those like little cans of um, bean dip that you can get in the chip aisle? The little cans. I like that better. This tastes more fresher though and more like a garden and fresh. So that's a good thing. It is pretty spicy. It's not burn your mouth, but it does have a nice, nice kick that's more than mild, uh, more than medium, but not hot. Um, and the smell is just wow. It The smell kind of smells like roasted red pepper hummus that I've had before. Um, I can't pronounce it. It's S-A-B. I can't pronounce it. Anyway, I'm sure you've had it before, especially if you're watching my channel and you're familiar with um, plant-based vegan foods. Um, I wouldn't get it again. It doesn't taste horribly bad in any way, but for the price I paid, it's nothing special. Um, and I probably should have got, you know... A not um, a dairy alternative dip because those might be harder to make for some people but there's really nothing special about this um, if you like roasted red bell peppers and you want something spicy and you don't feel like making it yourself but I would assume that a lot of red pepper spicy dips might already be plant-based with a cheaper price like for what I paid for it that's I don't think it was worth it um, so 
what do I give it? I mean, taste-wise, if you want something spicy and you're not worried about cost or anything, I give it a solid... Mm, let me taste it one more time because I, you know, I'm all about being real on my channel. Mm. I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. I give it like a 3.8. Yeah, I get yeah, I give it a 3.8 out of 10. I'm not gonna get purchased it again. So thank you for watching my channel. Or thank you for watching my video on my channel. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I don't recommend this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I come out with new videos. Alright, until next time, have an awesome day.